Hi everyone, this is a new series of videos that I'm making about positive thinking and chronic illnesses. And I'm making this video to answer the question, can positive thinking cure a chronic illness? Positive thinking is just one of the many aspects of health, some of which I have talked about in my previous videos um, about nutrition and healthy eating. So in this first video, I'm going to be talking about the first three steps to positive thinking. And in my next videos, I'm going to be talking about how to speak in love and how positive thinking is healing to the body. So first, I'm going to talk about what positive thinking is not. And positive thinking is not, oh, everything's so happy all the time and there's sunshine. Stay positive. Tearing me apart. Come on! Oh, forget it! Reality is not like that. <laughs> positive thinking is about telling the truth and speaking the truth. It is definitely okay to feel terrible when you are feeling terrible. It's okay to cry out to God in pain. There is a verse in Psalm 38, uh, Psalm 38 verses 7 through 10. David says, My back is filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am feeble and utterly crushed. I groan in anguish of heart. All my longings lie open before you, Lord. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pounds, my strength fails me. Even the light has gone from my eyes. There are so many examples of um, crying out to God in the Psalms and also praises. It's just the different seasons of life. And it's okay to have go through seasons of life um, where we need to cry out to God and have that because it's just a season of life and soon we're going to have a praising season of life where we're going to read Psalms about David praising God. But notice in that passage, you know, David isn't saying things like, why, why does this happen? I don't like this. Why does that have to I'm be tired like and my knee hurts. Which knee? My elbow hurts and I have to go to the bathroom. You know, bathroom. he's not complaining. He's just simply stating how he is feeling and just laying that all out before God. So I'm going to say that the first step for positive thinking is to speak the truth and be honest to God. Just tell him exactly how you're feeling. Cry out to him. Yell if you have to. Tell him how bad and unfair it is to live with a chronic illness. He understands, you know, he wants to hear from you. He wants to hear the truth from you. Just like in any relationship, we need to be honest and truthful to God. This isn't negative thinking. It's just telling the truth. God really wants to hear your truth. He loves you and he wants to hear from you. He wants to know what's going on. He wants to hear from you because God understands and he cares for you. And he wants to hear what's from you. He wants to hear what's going on. He wants to hear how you're doing. It's just like any relationship. We need to communicate this to him. And God is so big. He's not going to be offended by what you have to say. God knows. God is big. He can handle it. The second step for positive thinking is to recognize negative thought patterns. Negative thinking occurs when we just dwell on the unpleasantness of life. Some examples of negative thoughts are, my body hates me. Life is never going to get better. I will never amount uh, to anything. I am not good enough. Why am I so stupid? Okay, I'm just going to stop there because just saying that right now just kind of brought me down. I felt like I was cursing myself by saying those things. But it's important to identify which one of these thoughts are bringing us down. The third step to positive thinking is taking responsibility for your thoughts. No one is forcing you to think bad things. I had to give myself permission to think better thoughts. I had to tell myself it's okay to think good things because it's so easy to get stuck in that negative pattern of thinking. Positive thinking is all about using words to build yourself up while negative thinking is all about using words to tear yourself down. And it's all up to you. It's like the parable of the two wolves. There are two wolves inside of you, and they are always at war with each other. One wolf represents all the negative thoughts of resentment, 
self-pity, jealousy, and arrogance. The other wealth represents all the positive thoughts of kindness, humbleness, generosity, and love. Which wealth wins? The one that you choose. Be sure to subscribe because my next video is going to be talking about how we can change these negative thoughts into positive thoughts. So thank you for watching.